Happy Friday, Centennial Cougars. I'm Gus McMurray. And I'm Dominic Young. Thank you for joining us. It's another Football Friday here at Centennial. Don't forget, it's an Hawaiian out tonight as the Cougs take on Independence. The Cougs are looking to add yet another win to their big blowout winning streak. And Gus, how do you feel about the defense performances on Friday night? I think we played really well. Uh, we executed great. Uh, it was another shutout the second week in a row. And uh, I think we performed wonderful. So Gus, how do you feel about the team's preparation going into Friday night's performance against Indy? Well, Friday is a big game against Independence First Region game. Uh, we're going to have to prepare extra hard, you know, uh, hit the weight room, focus in on practice, study the film, and if we do all that, I think we can come out with the win. All right, Gus, you heard. 7 o'clock, Region game. Go Cougs. All right, I'm here with Graham Bendorf. And Graham, how do you feel about the office performance Friday night? I mean, I feel like we uh, ran the ball very well. They couldn't really, they just couldn't stop us, honestly. So how do you feel about the team's preparation going into Friday night against Indy? Um, we we're preparing very hard, so. All right, 7 p.m. Go Cougs. Today we have Brennan Jones. We're just here to ask a couple questions about the game uh, on Friday and the coming up Indy game. So what were your thoughts on the game that we had Friday? Uh, the game Friday, it was a really good game. 145-0. Uh, offense, defense, both played great. O-line was jamming it up for us. And, uh. Josh Forsey had four touchdowns. I think it was a good game. Uh, what, what do you think? How are we going to do about India? Are we going to win, lose, or what are your thoughts on that? Uh, we're going to win. Uh, it's going to be a harder game because region games are always harder. They always play harder. Uh, I think we have a pretty good strategy going in this game, and I hope we come out with the W. Okay. All right, I'm here with Keegan Scruggs. And Keegan, how do you feel about the defense performance on Friday night? I feel pretty good about it. Another shutout, you know. I mean, can't get any better than that. So how do you feel about team preparation going into Friday night's game? We ready, man. We've been practicing hard all week, ready to go on Friday. I mean, just a lot going into the game, man. Friday night, 7 o'clock at Indy. Go Cougs. We know the Cougs can keep this winning streak alive, but they need you to help them push through tonight's game and all the way through homecoming week. All right, we're here with our section leader, Johan Ko. Tell us a little bit about the game this Friday. So we are playing Indy at Indy at 7 p.m. They're talking a lot of trash, so we need it deep there. And OTL, the people who run the section stuff, they're going to be there, so we got to be loud for them. So make sure y'all be there. It is a Hawaiian out. If I don't see you there, we're going to have problems. So I'll catch y'all there. Yep. We're here with Miss Bates. We're asking about the homecoming dance and activities. What should we expect this year? All right, so this year for activity day, we're going to have kickball, soccer, and powder puff. Kickball and soccer are open for any grades, any gender to play. Powder puff is only our juniors and senior girls, and they've already been out there practicing hard for this game. It's $5 to participate in any of, any of the games or $5 to spectate. Then we have our extended lunch where we'll have lots of food trucks. Okay, then we have a pep rally, then we have our parade where we get to show off all our clubs, all our sports. Okay, gonna be a lot of fun. And then the homecoming dance, you can expect, okay, we're gonna be outside this year due to COVID regulations, but we're still gonna have a great time. We'll still have some dancing, we're gonna have lots of games, and we're also gonna have a food truck and a dessert truck there as well. Lots of fun. Yep, it'll be worth your while, so show up. Everywhere in the hall is people are always listening to music. We want them to know what's on your playlist. What's up, y'all? It's not a win. I'm here with Nyasha, Cameron. I and we finna be talking about your favorite music. So what you like to listen to? I like listening to uh, Big Boogie. And yeah, I know what you want. <laughs> <laughs> know what you want. <laughs> Next person, bro. All right, what you like to listen to? I right, saw so you feel me. I like to listen to. Lil Baby, Lil Dirk, Money Bad now, you feel me? Gutter, you gutter, gutter. Just, <laughs> give me that. Just hype music, for real, for real. Things that get me turned. If it ain't music that get me turned, I don't want to listen to it. Yeah. She listen to everything bad, but appreciate y'all. All right, what's up, y'all? It's not a way, and we here with Taylor Mays. Raymond. Yo, Ja. All right, we finna talk about their favorite type of music. So what you be listening to? K-pop. 
Oh, okay, that's some new stuff. Like who? BTS. All right, all right. What about you? K-pop as well. I be listening to Pusha Ice and all that. You like Pusha Ice? Big brr. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, young boy, King Von, Lil Dirt. And we here with Coach Atkins. What's up? I right, we finna talk about your favorite music. So what you like to listen to? I listen to a lot of things. I really like some hip hop, some rap, some classic rock. I like some ACDC and Led Zeppelin. Um, I like musicals. I like. So you all over the charts I'm, with it. I'm all over the place. Oh, yeah. You listen to Young Boy yet? Yes, I listen. Oh, to you turned out to Young yes, Boy. Yes, yes. You turned out to Young Boy. For In my train. car by myself. Yes. Yeah, he put you on that mission. Nigga. Yeah, <laughs> I tell you. I tell you. Well, thank you. Appreciate you. You can always count on Centennial to help out. And a huge service project challenge is about to get started here this week. Hey Centennial, this is Miss Woodridge, and I wanted to talk to you about something special that we have going on this month. So every month in JTG, we have a theme. And for this month, our theme is scholarship and service. Partnering with Centennial Gives Back, the JTG would like to make this a school-wide event and we want to issue a school-wide service project challenge. What does that look like? Well, in your homerooms, we're challenging all the students to find ways to give back in the school or in the community. Bring your homeroom teacher verification that you've done that and you'll get credit for your service hours. The homeroom with the most service hours per person on average will get a piece of party at the end of the month. So seniors, this is especially important for you because you need the service hours for your Tennessee Promise applications. It's a great way to go ahead and get started getting that. So if you have any questions, come see me in room 104 or talk to any of the administrators and we'll get you started. Sometimes life can be a little bit challenging. But here at SHS, there's always somebody to help and listen when you need it. Hi, my name is Mrs. Morris and I'm a STARS therapist here at Centennial. And I'm Jessica Stewart. I'm one of the school counselors here at Centennial. And we're here today to just share about Suicide Prevention and Awareness Month, which is September. Um, we wanted to make sure that you guys know that next week is Suicide Prevention and Awareness Week. And in homeroom advisories, we're going to be talking about kind of warning signs, what to look out for, and resources for if you're worried about someone that you care about or about yourself. Anyone can be a part of suicide prevention. It's really about having conversations with the people that we care about and then seeking out resources and trusted adults in the building. So know that when you are talking to the people you care about and suicide comes up that you always have the counselors in the building, school counseling and STARS to come to for help. And also the administrators and your teachers are great resources. This year there's a ton of new teachers and administration. And we want to take a minute to introduce you guys to them. Hi everyone, I'm here with uh, Greg Glass, assistant principal. All right. How long have you been here at Centennial? This is my first year. Are you enjoying it so far? I'm loving it. Loving every bit of it. All right. Um, I mean, pretty tall. <laughs> Just a little bit. Six, seven. That's okay. It's not too bad. Have you played any sports? I played a little bit of basketball. Were you good at it? Uh, it was okay. I got a college scholarship. That helps. College scholarship, where'd you go to? I played at University of Alabama for two years and I transferred to Western Kentucky. Were you um, born in Alabama? Actually, I'm from Kentucky. Okay, um, so you came from Centennial out of state? No, I've been in Williamson County for 10 years. I was at Summit for three years as an assistant principal, uh, coached boys basketball and independence for five years. Would you say you like Centennial the best out of those or? So far, so good. All right. I'm Jacob Moore, and I'm here with Mrs. Renee Gary. Okay, uh, Miss Gary, what do you teach? I'm one of the visual art teachers here at Centennial High School. Did you just get here? Yes, this is my first year here. I'm very excited to be here. Thank you. Where'd you come from? Well, I've been have taught three different places before Centennial. I taught seven years in Northern Kentucky at Ryle High School, three years at Highland Park in Columbia. That was my first elementary gig and seven years at Central High School and also Columbia, Tennessee. I still live there, but I teach here. Yes. All right, have you liked your first couple of days at Centennial so far? Absolutely, uh, just the atmosphere, administration's amazing, the students um, full of energy that keeps me going throughout the day, and uh, yeah, it's been wonderful, it's been great. We are here with? Miss Ward. All right, so you're new to the school. What do you think of it so far? I love this school so far. I'm very excited about this year. It's been a really great experience. All right, so um, 
We have some kids in your class, a lot of kids in your class, with a specific burning question. What are the aprons for? The aprons give me pockets to put my stuff, and they keep my shirts clean. Because if you're in my class, you see I get really active with those dry erase board markers. She gets active with the dry erase board markers. What do you think of the kids here? I love the kids here. It's been a really pleasant experience teaching here. I'm very excited about the rest of the year. So, how was your week? <laughs> Have you ever guys been walking the halls and feel like you guys are seeing double? So Tenyo has several sets of twins and some people are having double trouble trying to tell them apart. So I'm with Cody and Tico and we're going to see if other people can tell them apart. You guys ready? Yes. Yes. Cool. Yeah, I can tell the difference. That's Cody and that's Tico. Nice. Tico wears a necklace, Cody doesn't. Huh. There you have it. The more us, you know. Some of us pay attention to the kids, some of us don't. <laughs> the more you know. <laughs> Thank you guys. Do you guys want to say anything else to the news? Oh, um, subscribe to Koti and Tico. Oh. See ya. That's all our time for now. Everyone be there at Indy at 7 o'clock. Have a great weekend. Go Cougs.